You're watching Poland Daily Business, and today we will. Uh, our show is sponsored by the letter V, as a V shaped recovery. Uh, it's much about it in American politics. The question do we have it in Poland? And Dr. Artur Wrublewski of Lazarski University will answer this question. Sir, welcome to the show, first of all. Uh, hello, thank you for inviting me. And please today. tell us do we see the V shaped recovery? in Polish economy in second quarter? Uh, to some extent, uh, people or some analysts expected uh, more uh, U shape uh, this letter uh, according to some uh, explanations should drive the recovery of Polish economy in uh, this a particular time of the year. However, we see that the growth or the recovery is stronger and more rapid, which is a very good news because it suggests that Polish economy is very resilient to downturns and to economic shocks for various reasons. But uh, definitely uh, it shows that mm, we have a very healthy uh, fundaments of our economy. We have very positive PMI, Purchasing Managing uh, Purchasing Manager Index, that's um, 52.8, and for the first time since 2018, it's passed 50% uh, uh, threshold, which is again a factor that should point out that this economy is going to be developing very fast in the next few months. Of course, this is the consequence of this uh, healthy um, uh, fundaments of our economy. Uh, it shows that we are resilient and it's good to ask the question why we are so resilient to these economic um, uh, surprising shocks. Uh, this is uh, probably or it can be explained by structural reasons. Uh, we are a diversified economy. It shows that when something gets wrong in one sector of economy, we can still rely on the other part of economy. For example, we are not that reliant, that dependent on uh, tourism, like in case of uh, some countries in Southern Europe, like Spain, Portugal, or Greece, for example. So when we have a freezing of the economy, the lockdown, like now in Israel, for example, which is dependent on economy, on, on tourism, uh, we feel it less because we still can rely on agricultural sector or other sectors. For example, Germany or France is very dependent on auto uh, uh, industry. Uh, while in April and March the sale of new cars dropped by 90%. So they felt the freezing of economy and the slowdown in the consumption, in internal consumption and in international demand for new German cars. And of course, uh, another reason is that we are not that dependent in our economy and the growth of our GDP on export, for example. The export accounts for something like 47 of GDP. So it means that we can, to some extent, rely on internal demand to speed up the recovery of economy and to control the situation. Beside that, we still have and value very much our national currency. So we can still manipulate practically with currency rates and we can uh, use this uh, monetary tool as st stimulus for helping ourselves. Uh, that's why probably uh, the drop in GDP in our part of Europe and in Poland specifically was less than in the European zone, which consists of 19 states, and in the European uh, Union generally. Uh, so uh, beside that, we should also remember and not underestimate the role of the government with the stimulus packages like anti-crisis shield. 
which was updated to version 4.0, which was helping Polish, especially small and micro businesses, but also large companies uh, to um, get along uh, with this crisis. Uh, this package included, for example, interest rate subsidies or subsidies for payroll and other uh, elements like loans uh, or help with paying rent for small and micro businesses. It helped a lot to uh, recover, to rebuild the um, demand, internal demand, and first of all, to preserve the economy so that we came back to normal, not yet completely normal, but at least we are uh, doing quite well in comparison to other countries in our region or, uh, for example, in the European zone. But this lifeline that government gave to the employees and employers costed 100.9 billion Polish zloty. Is that about 25 billion dollars uh, or euros? And uh, it's obviously a quarter of Polish budget. And you can add to this money that was generated by printing out basically the Polish currency, the taxes that were not paid by the, by the companies and the individuals exempted from uh, the paying taxes due to the, uh, the coronavirus. This will uh, weigh on the budget and on the economy in the following year. So I'm, I'm trying to say that the picture is not rosy at all. Um, of course, it's not that rosy as it would be uh, in case uh, we didn't have any pandemia and uh, COVID-19 uh, COVID disaster. But uh, first of all, uh, let's remember that the main priority was to preserve the economy, more or less in the same shape like before in the first quarter of the century. In the first quarter of the, of, of, of the year, in the first quarter, there was a growth of GDP in Poland. The second quarter, there was a drop in GDP, but more or less, we do not have a disaster. And we pumped a lot of money, maybe, I don't know why, 100 billion US dollars in general or less, uh, taking into account financial shield and anti-crisis uh, shield and all other expenses from our budget. But it's better to increase the public debt and to then, and to then, for example, private debt. And uh, it's better to have bigger uh, deficit, budget deficit, because those money were well spent on stimulating internal demand, internal consumption, stimulating internal supply, and it was spent on development of Polish economy. Right, right, right. You, you can... uh, well spent this money, I, uh, I believe, according to statistical data which uh, is uh, coming from uh, European Commission or, for example, from International Monetary yeah, Fund yeah. I in think the Washington. analogy here is that government could have suffocated the economy during the April, May, June uh, lockdown. Then we will have the debt companies and unemployed people, millions of them. Instead, it put them on a ventilator and they are slowly getting back to work. So probably this is a better outcome uh, than we could have otherwise. Uh, of course, and uh, still we uh, are more or less uh, keeping on this uh, acceptable level uh, of, uh, for example, uh, public debt. Uh, let's remember also that if we increase public debt or the government is spending a lot of money for uh, helping the economy, uh, for stimulating the economy, it is money well spent because it is spent on development and the growth of GDP, or at least we don't want GDP to drop as much as somewhere else. While, for example, the private debt is dangerous. Right. It was a uh, 2007 and 2008 economy a crisis in the United States. Uh, in the United States, for and example, too many, too many aspects. Uh, this, this crisis is still ongoing, sir. Thank you very much for this uh, conversation.
Artur Wrublewski of you. Lazarski so University was our guest tonight and uh, we'll continue this con discussion in the next episode of Poland Daily Business tomorrow, same time. Please watch us again. Sir, thank you. And that was it for Poland Daily Business tonight. Thank you.